If I were to describe what it's like to use Duolingo, I would say it's like trying to cure cancer by slamming strong zero until you pass out, waking up in a bar in the middle of Tokyo with a bunch of drunk salarymen with no idea how you got there, but you're having a great time until you step outside and get run over by a bus. Congratulations, you no longer have cancer. Was it worth it? I don't know. You tell me, if this metaphor doesn't make sense to you, you're correct because neither does this app. Here's why Duolingo is the worst way you could possibly use to learn Japanese or probably any other language. Because not only is Duolingo bad at teaching you Japanese, it's bad at teaching you incorrect Japanese. By which I mean it teaches you incorrect Japanese, which it does badly. Okay, this is falling apart. Let's just get into it. So the first thing it does is try to teach you the words for meat, sushi, and water with their Japanese characters um, before actually teaching you Japanese characters. Apparently the reason it does this is because it wants you to learn implicitly or without association with English. I'll get into why this is stupid in a second, but really? You want people to implicitly learn which characters make which sounds really now. So if this says Niku, does this mean Ni and this mean Ku? Yes it does, but you don't know that. This only works with Japanese by coincidence. I mean, it's got a thing for teaching you hiragana and katakana, but not only is it bad, it doesn't even tell you it's there. <laughs> Like, lol, imagine being like, let's try to read Japanese without learning letters first. Fantastic. Let's learning. So if you don't know, the best way to learn to read is through mnemonics. There's a bunch of different ways you can use. I use Tofugus, and this video from Japanese Pod 101 has millions of views. They make great stuff. Duolingo says, here, just like, write it and stuff. This could take several hours, maybe days. For comparison, I learned to read hiragana and katakana in two hours each using mnemonics. Now, about the whole implicit learning thing, there's two reasons why this is dumb. No, let's, let's say three. The first one is, you're not two. You can't just absorb words in a language you don't understand. That's not how anything works. Sure, I can do that now, after speaking it every day for two years and passing the N2 test, but you can't just do that with a language you don't speak. Showing people words and saying, here, learn, is not how you teach a language. Now look, with how much trash anime goes in and out of my brain, I may or may not have the mental capacity of a two-year-old, but Japanese is not my first language, okay? The second reason this is dumb is the main way they get you to learn is by matching with an English translation. There are so many problems with this. The main one being, if English is your first language, you don't need Japanese to put this in the correct order. I mean, they even capitalized the first word for you, like, are you serious, dude? I don't even know if I can properly explain just how dumb this is, but I'm going to try anyway, okay? The idea of implicit learning is to teach your brain without relying on English, but if you use Duolingo, you will rely on your native language to understand it without understanding why you understand it. Basically, you're going to develop neither an implicit nor an explicit understanding of why what you're learning is correct, making this the absolute worst of both worlds. Fantastic! Fantastic. Like, they even have a blog post on their website with a shitty study they made using their app saying that people exposed to implicit instruction learned better than people using strictly implicit learning. Really, you don't say. If you teach people a language, they will learn better than if you don't teach them the language. That's... Holy shit, mind fucking blown, dude. Well, here's the part where you might say, well, as long as it works and it keeps me engaged, it should be okay, right? And you'd think so, but within five minutes of using the app, I realized, <laughs> I realized it does not actually teach you correct Japanese. Remember how I said most of it is just getting you to translate stuff from Japanese into English? Well, in Japanese, you can write things in a lot of different ways because it has a pretty open grammar structure. But Duolingo is programmed with one translation. This is not, and I cannot stress this enough, how Japanese works. This sentence is programmed as Mina wa kankyo nitsuite dou omotte ka? I wrote kankyo nitsuite mina wa dou omotte ka? According to Duolingo, this is wrong. It is not. 
I don't know what else to say. Not only does it avoid teaching you grammar and expects you to just infer meaning from their English translation, LOL dude, but the grammar it's teaching you is not even correct. Their idea of implicit learning means memorizing by trial and error what's correct without ever knowing why it's correct. So you can probably see the problem here, but just in case, let me spell this out explicitly. If you're teaching a language implicitly, which again, I think is a waste of valuable time that could be spent actually learning the language, you can't be teaching incorrect Japanese. If someone actually learned Japanese this way, they'd be walking around with not only extremely stiff Japanese, but no idea what anyone around them was ever saying. Now, before I wrap this up, I wanna get to one last thing because to be honest, I didn't have to spend that much time on this app to realize that it is complete garbage. And this is why. I started looking at the little breakdowns they have for their words and sentences and found this. They have age written under meaning for kudasai. What? Because it says sai, what was your entire app written in Google Translate? Oh, oh my god. Oh my, oh my god, it totally fucking was. Oh my god, it totally fucking was, wasn't it, dude? Oh. <laughs> Dear god. So, in conclusion, if you are using Duolingo, Dear God, please stop now. There are a million better options out there. Now, I plan to make a detailed video on how I became fluent, or let's be honest, still far from fluent because learning a language is really, really, really fucking hard. Not that Duolingo wants you to know that. But here are my recommendations. For absolute beginners, the very first thing you should do is learn to read hiragana and katakana properly. I'll leave some links in the description. Next, I really enjoyed the Absolute Beginner Japanese Pod 101 podcast. It's a great podcast that takes you step by step through all the basics. Now, I ran into problems using podcasts to learn once I got to the like lower intermediate stage, but for beginners, this is great. For the rest, I have two recommendations. If you're serious about learning Japanese, you're going to need to learn to read kanji. No, don't panic. Kanji is actually easier than not learning kanji. Here's my review of Wani Kani. It is the best way you could possibly use to learn anything and I highly recommend it. Lastly, for grammar, I am a huge fan of Boon Pro and you can watch my review right here. Thanks for watching friends and I'll see you next time.